again, you've got me sitting here smiling because what you just said and how I do it is it the exact opposite of what a lot of people present as advice to people starting out wanting to do a blog site and make it a business. They actually tell them to research key words and write based on what is trending, what is it, and it's like, but I don't care if this is trending, if it, I have no interest in it, I have no clue about it. You know, a lot of things I write about, I still have to do research so that I sound like I know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but at the same time, because everything isn't, I write is a personal experience, you know, but it just doesn't, um, you know, yeah. That, you know, first time my phone's rang, rang all day, right? <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> That's just the opposite of what they try to package to people and people get frustrated and they lose. If they had a joy for writing, they lose it. Well, I, I'd suggest there's a happy medium because if you just write about something to, in order to get something up on your blog, that might not connect with the customer. So there is a point where you do need to do some keyword research to understand what are my customers looking for and what are the words and phrases they use to find it. But if you overthink the optimization in the keyword research process, you will just find yourself having to write junk that you don't want to write. So what I usually do is I do the research and find out what are people in this area looking for? And I will say, I will use the, the keyword as a topic, not a keyword, but a topic, and, and use that almost as a writer inspiration rather than a word to obsess on to rank it. And that helps, number one, my writers not have to just write junk because they have to put the keyword in 17 times or something. Mm -hmm. But... Google thinks in terms of topics, not keywords, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't have to like overthink what word people might search for to get this. We just want to make sure it's relevant to where our customers are. So if we were a pizza company, for example, we sell pizza locally. We don't have to, you know, we don't have to do every keyword research and write every possible keyword blog post that we can find in a research. But we should do the keyword research. So what do people want to know about pizza, right? Mm -hmm. And so that kind of becomes writer prompts and ideas, not, okay, today I'm writing about how to make pizza. Well, if you sell pizza, is that really what you want on your blog? So maybe it's a writer prompt where you're like, people want to know how to make pizza. What if I show them how I make my pizza so that you want to come and buy my pizza, which is really what I want you to do, right? So it becomes, a, I'm going to use the keyword research process to generate ideas, but I'm not going to just write it because somebody said, oh, you should only write according to what the keyword research says. Yeah. Um, it, interestingly enough, one of the terms that... Um, I'm in that top 100 for is um, get rid of toxic baggage, <laughs> which I thought was so funny because it's like this phrase that comes up and I'm talk and what I'm talking about is letting go of stuff that happened to you in your past that you just keep dwelling on. And it, and I'm like, right. So of all the things, <laughs> but hey, if it helps get people over there, um, I'm all for it. <laughs> so did I, so that's an interesting example because get rid of toxic baggage could mean I have things in my past that I want to get rid of and get past and grow past. 
Mm -hmm. But it can also mean uh, I am an airline and there's something polluted and I have to get rid of the baggage that's been cut. You know, so that might be one of those phrases that I think is probably more of the way you're thinking of. I don't think airlines normally deal with toxic baggage in the sense of poisonous right. cases. But, you know, I, I think that's, that's the area where we have to mix with, well, what do people who want to learn to do this, what do they want to learn about? And I think that's where things like social media can help us. Like using social media as writer inspiration and prompts to say, what do people ask or what do people talk about on social media to use that to prompt us to think about what we can write. Because we, the whole, we can, we can rank for something, but if nobody else searches for it, ranking for it is not gonna help us, right? So we have to make sure that if we're trying to rank for something, that it is something that others are searching for. Otherwise, we could find ourselves trying to optimize for something that, well, we're only people looking for it. Right, right.